hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're just seeing my face for the very first time hi my name is adora and you're watching life with adabeke if you're new here welcome if you're one of my ogs thank you so so much for supporting this channel everybody please be sure to like share subscribe comment all that good stuff and i hope to for us to continue to grow this channel you know poco a poco little by little okay Today, I want to be talking as, about something that I've actually shied away from talking about on this channel. Um, but I felt like, you know, if I can say even just a little bit, you know, about, you know, what I know a little bit about it, why not? Let's talk, you know, my goal is to share as much information as I can. And any way I don't know, I'll tell you people so that you can, you know, go and do your own research. So I want to talk a little bit about funding medical school, especially as an international student. So the reason why funding for international students is very different from um, US citizens is because US citizens are able to just apply for loans straight up, like they are able to apply for it. Um, but as international students, that's a bit different from uh, for us. There are things that you need to think about when not just like when you apply but when you're even looking at the schools that you want to apply to when it comes to the money conversation when about you know medical school these are just some things i want you to know about things i want you to keep in mind this is by no means an exhaustive list of things that you should know but this is just you know kind of like a conversation starter and opener about some of the things that you should have in mind when you're thinking about funding for medical school so the first one is something that a lot of people don't realize until you know you start getting acceptances it's called escrow account so what is an escrow account there are schools that require you to be able to show that you have the money to pay for medical school they require you to show that upfront so out of the schools that accept international students there are some schools that require you to be able to show that you have four years worth of tuition and if you think about it four years worth of tuition is anywhere north of like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and a lot of those schools will require you not just to show it that you have it in a bank account but to actually have that money in like a bank account that they hold does that make sense like that is a lot <laughs> to me they are doing too much because not only do you have to show that money you also have to like remove it and store it for them essentially i you, you're essentially paying four years tuition up front so when you are applying to schools you need to know that you need that information is usually like one liner written somewhere on their website um but i think it's really important for you to know whether a school requires you to hold money in an extra account because if you don't have that money up front what's even the point of applying you know that's my own thought like what's the point of applying for me, that was actually a way that I filtered schools. Like, I'm like, if you need me to pay four years of tuition upfront, I know I can't do that. So might as well just remove you um, from my school list. There are some schools that require you to show and hold one year of tuition. Okay? Those are also escrow account, but they only require you to show and hold one year of tuition. If that's not something that you can do, show and hold, you also don't want to apply to such a school then for the most part most schools just require you to show that you have one year of tuition they should not, not it's not just tuition it's like cost of attendance so tuition might be forty thousand dollars a year not really i'm just giving an example tuition might be forty thousand dollars a year but when you factor in cost of attendance which is like room and board you know accommodation um books miscellaneous feeding blah blah it might come out to seventy thousand dollars so what they will need to, for you to show in an account is seventy thousand dollars not forty thousand dollars so that's very important to know you need to know what like what the requirements for schools are a lot of times after you've received an acceptance you will get an email from the school telling you oh you know as an international student we'll read you know you need to if you have like a someone that is 
a guarantor or whatever you need to they need to sign papers and a lot of that thing like sometimes the process can be pretty quick they, they might have like up to like a 30 day turnaround so these are things you have to like be ready for it be like in anticipation of getting an acceptance it's not when you get the acceptance you now start scrambling around start looking for oh who would be my grant or uh where, where which account will like you know no you need to actually be ready for those things up front so as international students you are eligible to certain scholarships so a lot of times the school themselves might have certain scholarships that are available for international for international students for students in general so look into those things you want to make sure that you're looking into scholarships they are also outside scholarships i won't lie scholarships have been very very difficult to find because a lot of these scholarships require you to be a u.s citizen or green card holder but don't relent there are still some available there might be um as, if you're a minority as well, there might be like minority geared scholarships. So look out for those, you know, here and there. By the time you gather them, if you're able to, you know, gather a lot, you might be able to, you know, make something out of it. And especially if you do really well on the MCAT, I know I've seen people who like, you know, scored above 515. And because they did really well, they were able to get a scholarship like like an academic scholarship so that's something that you can look out for as well if you do really well you might be able to get like an academic scholarship so scholarship i feel like also goes with grants sometimes you can apply for grants sometimes like institutional grants you know different kinds of things i don't know too much about grants but i know that they are available that, that that's a source of funding as well for international students that they might be eligible for another way that international students are able to pay for um, medical school is loans so yes we cannot take um the federal loans and state loans and stuff like that government loans but you can take private loans one thing to note about these private loans is a lot of times they have like higher interest rates um and also you're not able to like defer the loans or get like uh they're not eligible for loan forgiveness programs what do i mean by that a lot of the government you guys might have it like during covid like i remember biden paused like they paused the loans and stuff like that so because of covid and i think they just restarted them so or even now that you know the whole loan forgiveness program is kind of going through the um house of the um national national assembly and stuff like that those things those loans that they're talking about are the government loans so if you take out private loans all those loans don't concern you you have to pay by hook or by crook like so is an option but they you know it comes with its own xyz comma here and there and a lot of them require you to have a u.s citizen as your guarantor so you might have like someone you know from home back home who has you know good credit or whatever but that usually doesn't count you usually need somebody in the u.s to serve as a a u.s citizen to serve as a guarantor for you and a lot of those a lot of times that person also has to have good credit like it's not just like somebody who's like you know their credit score is like 400 no like someone with like a good credit as well and if if you have someone with a good credit you know that once you become a doctor you're going to be able to you know pay back and stuff like that so if you have that kind of opportunity there are people who go for it and who utilize um such things and then like another thing you have to realize is that when it comes to paying for med school there are miscellaneous things that you need to think about i mentioned before like cost of attendance like that cost of attendance is not just tuition you need to think about room and board like if you're moving you need to think about the cost of moving you need to think about like books um sometimes like when you start thinking um factoring like all these resources that you have to pay for like maybe study materials all these things here and there like you really need to like factor in those costs because you don't want to feel like you're behind your peers or like you can't afford something that is helping everybody else to succeed and you don't have access to that so you really need to factor in those things so like if you're taking out a loan don't say don't try to like scream it oh let me just take out no take out what you need take out what you need like take out what you actually need like you might need a car because where you're moving does not have good public transportation take out the loan to buy that car like you just need to like be realistic because med school is rough enough and you want to make sure that finances are not part of the things that are burdening you while you're in med school i hope like you know this little chit chat that we had i hope i was able to open a little bit of the doors i know i'm not like it's not a super comprehensive you know financial breakdown of how to 
go about in med school but i think it's just a you know a conversation starter if there are some other things that you want me to discuss um please leave that in the comments and i will talk about it okay so as usual don't forget to like comment share subscribe to this channel as always i remain your girl adabe care thank you so much for watching till next time bye mm -hmm.